Hello, everyone. I'm Leonard Firestone, council member for District 7. Uh, we're here today to talk about the Warrant Forgiveness Program with Judge Rogers that will be taking place on April 29th from 9 to noon. I thought we would get Judge Rogers here just to answer a few questions sure. and tell everyone about the program. Happy to do it. We're excited to have a, a, another court in the community here at Thomas Place Community Center on the 29th. It'll be from 9 in the morning until noon. We have three judges. We have plenty of staff here to talk to people about their cases, about warrants. It's a real issue. The real focus is on people with warrants, but anyone that has an outstanding ticket with the city of Fort Worth can come and talk with us. Okay. And our goal is to get them on a on a path to take care of that, whatever that looks like. Okay. You know, sometimes it's a little scary for people to come downtown. Court can be a little scary. We don't like it that that's the perception, but it, coming to a community center can be easier for folks. Um, we don't arrest anyone. We're what we call a safe harbor court. We're not looking to do that. We're just looking to meet people where they are, get their warrants off of them, and in appropriate circumstances can reduce the total they owe by taking off warrant fees and collection fees. We will pre-register people, uh, up to 50 people, and then we'll see an additional 70 here. So okay. we really encourage people to get registered ahead of time. That better prepares us, and we know who's coming. Yep. And do I need to have the citation in hand? You do not. You do not. And if you're uncertain as to whether you have warrants, you do have anything outstanding, call us at the court, 817-392-6700, and the staff will check to see if they have any outstanding cases. Okay. No, you don't need the citation. We do ask that you bring an ID uh, so we can look you up in the system make sure we have the right person. Okay. And what can I expect? How long will it take? It'll take a while. I mean, particularly if, if you're not high up on the list. So that's why I encourage the pre-registration. Um, we will work, like I said, usually from 9 to noon, and many times it goes a little over. So I would say come and bring a book, bring something to read. It may be 30 minutes, maybe a little longer, just to wait for your turn. Would it be okay if I had to bring a child, sure. for example? Sure, That'd absolutely, be all right? yeah. Okay. It's not at all the formal atmosphere that we have at the courthouse. We do wear our robes just out of respect for the law, but it's much calmer. And we have a, usually have a waiting room where the folks can, can sit. They can be on their phones, iPad, whatever. Just be comfortable. We're also going to have some community partners here working with us, be available to folks. That's Goodwill and the Envision Center. And if pe people can't make it on Saturday, if that's a bad day, um, April 29th, they can always come see us at the court. And we offer exactly the same services. We have walking courts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, thank you for doing this program. I think it's terrific. And we want to encourage everyone to do it again April 29th from 9 to noon. Please come. It is a great way to uh, clean up your issues that you may have with, uh, with the court. And um, these are the right guys to, to help you.